Oh, I wonder this mysterious figure is. What is it, Rodon? Why is there all this need for noise? What noise? He's not making any noise. I have a problem. Every time I bang the door, I make musical sounds. <laughs> now it's night time again. What? what? That happened again? All right. That way. Right. <laughs> that was coming out the bush, but the bush was in there. Hold on. I cannot believe your unlikely story. And do stop spitting. It is a filthy habit. Deal with it, Rodon. Or else I'll make the hand come from the box with the screen and slap you again. <laughs> it clearly wasn't coming from me because I'm much further away than you. I will not have you making fun of Beauty's family. Soon her family will be part of. <laughs> I'm so glad that I got this thing. <laughs> He's so good for slapping people, even though it's clearly not my arm. That was Sarah, man, folks. Oh, wink. Wink, you know you want to. What? <gasps> Wait a minute. Is he the prince and the prince and a frog? That's what I'm thinking. He and Tiara are having their own adventures <laughs> while this film is going on. What well, you said about, you know, it's all about, you know, it's all about saying it's not about the looks that count. Maybe he's a prince and a frog. He's saying, yes, yeah, like me. That's why he keeps appearing. He goes, is this the moment where I can say, can I have a kiss? It's the first time she meets him. Hello. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Excuse me, Belle. Wasn't it, was it, wasn't the beauty who said it's not all about looks? Do you think you put on some clothes, wouldn't you? <laughs> Could you please close your legs on either side of the table? <laughs> I don't think. Right, maybe it wasn't the appearance. It's just the fact that he's clearly not wearing pants. <laughs> but could your father's home offer you what I can offer you here? I've got frogs on everything and two pianos. <laughs> I know. I will show you around the castle, and then you will be too busy to miss your father. Yes. It'll take an hour to go around the castle, and you'll completely forget about your father for that whole hour. We'll deal with it what happens afterwards. <laughs> Trust me, a couple of minutes of looking at frogs on everything, you'll forget all about your old life. Mm -hmm. What? 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 Mm -hmm. What is mm -hmm. that? I thought she was having for a tea, an apple. So after that fever dream. Is that a playing piano now? It would be, except that's clearly a harpsichord. You do. Mm -hmm. I have several questions. What do you say? First of all, that seems to be like the only living piece of furniture in the entire film. Secondly, why does its voice sound like Satan? And three, what was he saying? No, I don't know any princes. Well, you never know. Perhaps you are acquainted with the prince, but aren't aware of it. Things are Hint, hint, wink, wink. The frog. There's your prince right there. You blind girl. Beauty, I asked you to come for a walk with me because I have something to ask you. Will you kiss the frog? Well, Beauty. My friend has been trapped in this form for many years and it's starting to worry me. I have asked you here today because I would like to ask if you would marry me. <gasps> oh! What's with the big hands? What? Did you have three? What? <laughs> we'll have a quick montage now where we're going to slowly fall in love. Oh, please don't say another song. No. You know she wants to. She busts out like a guitar. It's like, it's time, beauty. He spends so much time with these roses. He must love them so. He loves them a little bit too much. So much that he might friend to kill somebody for touching them. When a rose on one of his bushes dies, it means the master's life is shortened by one month. So when your unsuspecting father took a rose from the master's garden, he accidentally reduced the life of the master. Why didn't he explain that? Rather than coming across like a petty douchebag. Please, Mira. Could you now show me my father? Good morning. Is it... <laughs> you will not find as fine a craftsman as Monsieur Renard in all of our land. Of that I can show you. So it's all coming together. He's selling his own jewelry. Oh dear beast, 
could I not return to look after my father while he is ill? Makes him sick. I'm sick from stress, probably. If you walk through the mirror, you will find yourself home. Now go. Beauty. I mean, Beauty has not been particularly detailed about his appearance, but to be honest, if he comes from such wealth, who cares what he looks like? I mean, I'm wearing cinnamons on my head, or possibly a coiled hoop. And I don't care about my appearance. <laughs> the beast is sure to take one of us in Beauty's place. But of course! He will never bother coming here to retrieve Beauty if we arrive at the castle. And anyway, if we take the ring, Beauty will have no way of following us. They're gonna steal the beast! Using a ring that we've only just been introduced to. I'd say, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm not the only one who got really confused by that. I thought I'd missed something in the plot. I told you I should have worn the dress. It would have fitted me much better than you. That is of no consequence. I shall woo him with my charm. I think the beast likes uh, Star Wars, so I'm going to dress up like Princess Leia. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, you're a beauty. <laughs> He's crying. Oh no. Uh, why are people falling ill so quickly in this? And now beauty's sick. Oh, she's just sleeping. Where is my ring? The ring that we never established <laughs> except for that exposition. <laughs> I think I know. We'll go this way. <laughs> You've come back, beauty. I saw the most ugly creature imaginable. <laughs> Please don't die. Now that I realize how much you mean to me. <gasps> Whoa! Beauty. The beast and I are the same person. But your unselfish love has released me. I switch back and forth with the beast every time I hold aloft my magic scorn and say the words, I have the power! <laughs> I just happen to lose the sword. What happened to the sisters? Oh, there they are. Huh? Of course they caught it. And then they married each other. You know, it's good that that whole jewelry thing just kind of resolved itself off screen. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it on the, the, the wedding? Apparently you fight- Yeah, why is it his do daughter's wedding? <laughs> oh, 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 God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> uh. like you brought up the whole thing about how the guy was stealing the jewelry. It's for like 30 minutes getting to that point, and then it just solved it off screen. Oh boy. Well, well, I've seen some bad films in my time, but that was only an hour long. That did not feel like an hour. That felt like two hours. Uh, <laughs> so guys, you've seen a short version of this. Because obviously this will be edited down. But we've done you a favour. We've done you a huge favour here. Well, uh, that was, that a... was uh, quite an experience. Okay, thoughts? Oh, God. Alright, okay. It could have been worse. It could have been the time machine that I bought at that yard sale. It could have been that bad. At least this kind of, kind of, had a pace. <laughs> at least, at least you had Christopher Lee in there, who was, bless him, giving it his all. And there were some voice actors that were okay at the times, like Beast, for example. The animation is atrocious. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're going to do animation correctly, make sure the lip sync with, <laughs> with the voices. You know, this is not, this is not ventriloquism act. And, um, yeah, they added a lot of, st there were some plots there or things that were just thrown in there, like, last minute. Like, uh, the jewel stuff, which I thought was really the boring thing about it. I can't remember anything of that happened. And it solved itself off screen. And the ring. <laughs> Give her a Romeo <laughs> teleport. Yeah, what? How did the sisters find that out? Uh, I know, maybe they had, like, an exposition text scroll off the screen <laughs> where we didn't see that. All right. Okay. We're well, gonna go watch the Disney version. <laughs> yeah, I think I think yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I actually, do you know how I came across this? How? 
I was in like a news agent. I was just getting myself like a kind of monster, and then I saw like one pound DVD. It's not even like uh, in a proper case. It's in like a cardboard sleeve, and I saw this, and I looked at it and saw like Christopher Lee, his credit on the back, and I thought, okay, I have to know, and I'm so glad. I, I can't believe. Yeah, I can imagine people that still think. Someone's buying this. Someone actually is going to buy this. <laughs> Dear Lord. I must think, they must think that you're that creepy guy who owns all these, you know, really cheap films, like rubbish films, and just watches them all day. Well, I also bought Time Cop at the same time, so I think that he uh, thought I was actually a cool person who watches all kinds of crappy films. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, where did you find uh, Time Machine that, uh, that found a yard sale? Uh, that was on the internet. Oh, was it on the internet? I thought you bought a DVD. Uh, no! <laughs> you would pay to see that? I paid a quid to see Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> yeah, I will pay to I see mean, most things. I, I paid about £13 for the room on Blu-ray. But that was a good £13 spent. That, that was a fantastic 13 This film, which was pure gold, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. I'm giving this an F. For fail. An F out of 12. An F. <laughs> Join us next time when we watch... I've got plenty more movies we can watch. Uh, will the next film be better than that Abomination we just watched? Alright, awesome. Next time, do you want to watch Monsters vs. Ninjas? Monsters vs. Ninjas? Okay, that's, that's, <laughs> that sounds better already. Anything with ninjas. Oh, hey, look, I've got a Cinderella DVD. Let's watch that. No! <laughs> <laughs>